So starting the test drive in this Palisade, the 3.8 liter V6 is actually very capable. I know that from just testing these vehicles out in the past, because that's pretty much been in these since I think it was 2019, 2020 when these came out. They've always had that V6 with the eight speed. And it just, it gets up to power relatively quickly, shifts very nicely. Not sure about the long, Longevity of the powertrain, but I haven't heard any huge problems from them since they came out. But I do just like the torque you get. It pulls so nicely. And then having a front-wheel drive model, even the all-wheel drive model gets you decent fuel economy, but the front-wheel drive model gets you pretty good fuel economy for a roomy three-row SUV. And so far, even with these 20 inch alloy wheels, not a lot of road noise here, so that's pretty impressive. And just a nice comfortable ride here, nice and solid, not necessarily overly plush, but comfortable. And I still enjoy driving this, if that makes sense. Now it's not a sports car, but it's also not boring to drive in the sense that you can feel the road, the steering is nice. You have your different drive modes as well. And then it's very easy to turn the auto stop on or off, which a lot of the times, even though there's a button, it can be out of the way, kind of out of sight, out of mind, but it's right next to your drive modes. You can just hit that and just get that out of the way if it's bothersome to you. And what's cool about these Palisades is I feel like this has been worked on over the past few years, but the auto stop is remarkable. It just lets off just with ease. As soon as you start to let off the brake, it's just good to go. There's no hesitation or having to sit there for a minute. It's very, very, very quick. We're gonna take it on the interstate. Actually, I'm gonna put it in a sport mode, take it on the interstate and just see how it gets up to speed. So of course it likes to rev a little hot. And then I also like these paddle shifters as well, that you can just throw on at any time. Oh yeah, it pulls very nicely. Wow. Yeah, pretty quick. And if you wanna get it out of that mode, just hold that plus paddle down and then you'll go into just the regular automatic mode once again. And then I love those blind spot, I guess videos that come, I don't even know how to describe that, but they're not actual mirrors, but you just get that screen there. Always helpful. And then we do get that smart cruise again, so we can toggle that on, and then we'll, we can have the whole system going if we so choose. So pretty impressive there, but don't have a lot of time to do that. But I'm gonna put it back into comfort mode. And I think for the most part, these are so, when they first came out, you couldn't find them because they were just such a good deal. You could have heated cooled seats, a heated steering wheel, adaptive cruise with lane centering and It'd be for the price point of a vehicle that you'd expect to be 70, 80 grand, and you're saving 15, 20 grand compared to a, a similarly equipped vehicle like a Tahoe or something. It wouldn't have as much room, but for the most part, it got the job done. This is more like a Honda Pilot, but for those that don't need all that additional space, it's more practical to get something like this. So this is where this thing really shines, I think but a very good option in today's market. And this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 Hyundai Palisade in the limited trim level.